Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. Another scripted video. Oh, fucking hell. Anyway, today's video is about the top 5 best engineer guns in Warface in 2023. So let's not talk too much and get right into the list. Firstly, I want to clarify that this is my opinion. Your opinion can be different from mine and there is nothing wrong with that. I think that the number 4 and 3 spots are pretty much on an equal level. Also, this video was made before the release of the Beretta PMX on console, so I can give my thoughts about this gun. Okay, so I would like to start with some honorable mentions in no particular order that didn't quite make it onto the list. The Vigilance Rifles AM20. I just don't feel like it is better than the number 5 spot since it got terrible mods, so the best I can give this gun is a spot in the honorable mentions category. Then there's the Quarter Circle 10 SMG. Same goes for the Quarter Circle, I really like this gun though, but unfortunately it's not the greatest anymore. And lastly the KH9X. For the KH9 I feel like it isn't in a great state. It only has two scopes which usually isn't a problem, but that's literally all the weapon has. The fast rate of fire and 90 damage kinda saved the weapon for me. Still it isn't good enough to compete with the top 5 guns in the game. With that out of the way, let's start the list with the number 5 spot. The 5th best engineer gun in the game currently, in my opinion, is the SAR 109 T Specs. I don't have a lot to say about this gun, besides that it is still a solid gun, even though it doesn't have any mods to this day. It may only have 85 damage, but with a rate of fire of 960, it is one of the fastest guns in the game. And not only that, but it also has a 4.6 hatch multiplier, which helps this gun a lot. Another good thing about the gun is the extremely low recoil. It is one of the lowest in the game until this day. Just have a look at it. So I think I made it clear why this weapon deserves the number 5 spot. So let's get over to the 4th best SMG. This shouldn't be a surprise that I put the Chris Super V Custom on the 4th spot. I mean, I made like 3 videos about it because it is just a very good gun. This gun came out in the very first Battle Pass season of Warface and it was immediately clear that this weapon was broken. But after the hype around the weapon kinda slowed down and the game progressed and added new armors with better stats each time, the Chris was doomed to fail. And it eventually did. But put that aside and I introduce you to mods. With the introduction of mods, the Chris Custom was back on top again. The Deadly Precision mod makes this weapon a beast, since it deals 540 damage to the head when the enemy doesn't have any damage reduction armor. The addition of mods really saved a lot of weapons thinking back to it. So everyone knows the Chris is a solid gun. Then let's get over to the number 3 spot. The next weapon on my list is the newest addition to the mod system. It has 92 damage, 840 RPM and a 4.6 Hatcher multiplier without any mods. With the unique mod, this changes to 941 RPM and a 6.44 Hatcher multiplier. If you haven't figured it out already, the gun I'm talking about of course is the Cobble Kinetic Stealth Pistol. This weapon is arguably worse than the Chris Custom, but I still put it one spot higher since the stats are better in general. I like both weapons though. And like I said in the beginning, number 3 and 4 are almost equal in strength. The Chris has a lower and easier recoil pattern, while the Stealth Pistol does more damage and shoots faster. It's really hard to decide what gun is better. But enough talking about the Cobble Kinetic Stealth Pistol, let's get over to the number 2 SMG. Okay, so this is my favorite weapon at the time and I would have put it on the number 1 spot, but it's just a little too weak to compete with the best SMG in the game currently. So the second best SMG in the game is the SIG MPX Copperhead. It probably has the craziest mod in the entire game in terms of stats and how much it affects the weapon. I am of course talking about the Lone Snake mod. This mod transforms the weapon from a decent gun to an absolute massacre machine. I mean, just take a look at the stats for yourself. The mod gives you an increase of 66% headshot damage, 15 damage, a 12.5% fire rate, a 25% better accuracy, and it changes the weapon to a single version. I mean, just how broken can a mod be? And that's not all. The weapon even got above during the Warface Day event. They decreased the recoil of the single version by 15%. But it's still bad compared to the number one spot, and I'm sure you already know what weapon it is. 
All of you should already know what weapon is on the number one spot. Of course, the Taurus CT9 G2. I personally hate this gun because for some reason I'm just really, really bad with it. I don't know if that's just a skill issue on my side or the game's fault. Because for some reason, the gun never connects for me. But whatever. Like I said earlier, I wanted the Copperhead to take the number one spot, but you guys decided. I got 110 votes and 80% of you said that the Taurus is better, so I had no other choice but to put the gun on the number one spot. The Taurus has the highest base damage in the game, and also the highest hydro multiplier of 6.2, and that's without any mods. It has a very low recoil, but it sways towards the right side, which is probably the reason why I don't like the gun. The mods on the gun are cheap and you don't even need mods for this weapon to be good, unlike the other guns on the list. Why am I even telling you that? You already know how fucking stupidly broken the weapon is. So that marks the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed the video, let me know your top 5 SMGs in the comments down below and now I hope you have an amazing day. Peace out.